Hi guys and welcome to a new series. So, as the title suggests, you guys have finally bullied me into making an airport. Finally. <laughs> well, kind of. I'm going to be making a small airport. I'm not going to be making a full one, uh, but I will be making a small one and I'm going to do it in the kind of let's build you know, I'll be trying to show you guys as much as I'm building as possible. Obviously, if there's a huge floor that I need to fill in, I'll just fill it in. Um, also, stuff like shop interiors or something like that, I'll probably just do that and then walk through. So, the kind of really boring stuff that you guys already know how to do, I'll skip through that. But the stuff like, you know, where do I put a runway, how big do I make a runway, how do I make the terminal, those kind of things I'm going to be including, I'm going to be doing them step by step and coming up with them, uh, taking your advice as well. So, it's going to be kind of a different format for the, the kind of modern stuff I guess um, but if it works I'll do it with loads of other stuff like a military airport commercial airport military docks commercial docks even skyscrapers and stuff it depends on on kind of how you guys uh, think I should do things if that helps you or if you would prefer just to see things in tutorials instead you know it's kind of up to you um, I just make the content you guys watch it so if you enjoy it I'll keep on making more of that kind of stuff so, what the hell are we looking at? We are looking at New Dakar City. Or at least the map for it, the actual, you know, big map that I've been working on. Uh, now, Dakar City has been, or New Dakar City, shall I say, has been just worked in this tiny little area. Tiny little area. And you can actually kind of see the uh, hospital here. It does go a bit weird. I've thrown it into World Painter because you can just see everything and it doesn't lag when you're moving around. Whereas MC Edit does. Now we do have a bridge going across here, and this bit that's been cut out is actually the waterway, by the way. That's the waterway. The roads have kind of gone somewhere, uh, but there is a big kind of bridge here that then goes across. Now my plan is to finish off this island, and then finish off this bottom area, and it's taking ages. And I think you guys need different bits of content as well as the same stuff, so you kind of want to see this progress, but you also want to see new things, like a military dock, which is going to be going here, I've decided was planning on having it down here, but this really straight edge kind of works, especially if I'm having a military airport around here. It kind of just works together. And also the military base, secret mountain base. We won't talk about that, though. Um, so I've got a highway going up. And what I'm planning on having is this will go into the mountain. There'll be a ridiculous road. I have no idea how I'm going to plan this out. But <laughs> I'm going to make a curved road through the mountain, which will then get to here. It will come out. And this is going to be a new small town. Um, so I'm actually going to call it, I'm actually going to call the town, I think, Lone Pine. It's going to be like the suburbs, it's going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, there is going to be a huge bridge going across onto this island, like proper Golden Gate Bridge, so I think it's like a kilo kilometre across here, or something like that. So I'm going to be doing something along those lines uh, as well, but this will be kind of like the suburbs, so it'll be more rural. Uh, I am planning on doing more rural stuff and like farms and really really rural stuff around here and also you know other stuff but we are going to be going here so I'm going to be planning to build a small regional airport around about probably on this kind of northern, well not really northern but in a way it was a northern airport but um you know on this kind of bit next to the mountain kind of in within the mountains I think this is the way I'm going to be doing it I'm going to be having it like this way I think I don't think I'll be having it this way I'm going to be having it this way because I have more room if I ended I don't think I'll be that long but <laughs> if it did end up being huge, then it ends up being huge. Um, but I got enough space for it. Uh, and it's going to be called Lone Pine Regional Airport. And the name for Lone Pine has actually been kind of, was come up by, with, was come up from, or was suggested from, I think that's what I'm trying to say, uh, suggested by HMAS Lightning. So thanks, dude, for the name. So we've got Lone Pine up here. Uh, now you can already see that I've got a couple of houses. Uh, this series is basically going to be me going from the start all the way to the end. This first episode is just going to be let's get the basics done. Let's 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 see. Well, actually, let's just do the research. <laughs> to be honest, I'm going to be looking at some pictures and telling you guys what I've kind of got planned in my head, and then what I've drawn as well, because that always helps, uh, especially with big builds and big projects. You don't want to just throw down blocks and hope it works. So, here I have a picture. This is going to be what I'm kind of basing off. I'm not planning on having a big one, so instead I've kind of got this, and I think it's like. Chuck Ramona Ramona Airport basically going to have a big runway here uh, then we're going to have the taxiway and that's that's where they basically come off or go on to the runway uh, we're going to have these this taxiway going across here but I'm then planning on having my main airport around here I think 
Maybe this is the airport, maybe that is. I don't really know with this one, but we're only going to have a couple of small ones, and the biggest craft we're going to have, probably, is going to be the Fokker 50, or Fokker 60. One of these ones. You know, I've already built this one, so I've kind of already got all the planes for the smaller ones, but we are going to do the smaller ones, so maybe... Uh, if it's if it does get bigger, we'll probably be able to fit a 737 on there, but we're not too sure. Probably I'm probably going to build a 727 just for this style airport because I think that will fit in there quite nicely. So what I've done, and I always advise doing this, is build a small plan. And I will probably not stick to this at all, but what it allows me to do is go, right, what's my starting point, what I'm going to be doing... You know, all of that kind of stuff. And I'm actually just going to quickly close uh, this. I actually might... Oh, I'll, do that in the I'll do it in MC Edit. I'll zoom over there in MC Edit, I think, off camera. But, um, yeah, what we're going to be doing is, is... And what I advise doing is just making a plan. You can do this in MS Paint, for example, and just get down the basics. And you can see this looks terrible. I mean, I might even change the canvas to white just so it shows up. There you go, that shows a bit, be a bit better. But... This currently looks absolutely terrible, but you can tell the main features, and that's all that matters. We've got a road down here, we've got some sort of terminal. I started sticking these blobs on. These are supposed to be hangars, you know, and this is like the main bit. This is just like tarmac -y area, uh, rather than anything else. So that'll be like the tarmac -y area. I probably could have put that down here and maybe even move all of this down. Yeah, why not? Move all of this down, and then there'll be like taxiways going across to these parts. There you go, that makes sense. So, kind of terminal. Obviously, it, I'm not going to make it completely square. I want I want to kind of have like some sort of, at least at the front, I think I'm going to have this part rounded in. And maybe even just have pillars so that you have like a little road here for the taxis to go down, then joins into the main road. Something like that would be really cool. Um, hangers and stuff, that can always move. You know, you can have air, airplanes across here. But the main thing, we have this big, big runway. That's my main bit. We have the taxiways, and I've just put them on like angles at the minute. I've uh, got a really big one down here, kind of like that picture we looked at, if we grab that again. So kind of like this, I'll probably, you know, look at loads of road mark. well, not road markings, but loads of markings when I go around and actually get to build it. But you can kind of get the basics and basic ideas from this, and then this is what I'm basing it off, but already you can see that I've already changed everything and it's going to be completely different. I want a really cool style, regional, like, kind of actual thing. I also forgot completely about a tower. No idea. Has this one even got a tower? No, it doesn't really doesn't really look like it. Well, maybe that's the tower. I don't know. We'll figure that out. So I'll probably put in, you know, a control tower somewhere. It depends on what side. Here, do they? Uh, it depends on. I don't even know which direction you would normally land and take off in. So if you guys even know that, tell me because that'd be a lot of help. But this is basically what we're going to have. Uh, now what I'm actually going to do is well quickly I'll show you at least what I've got so far in uh, the little suburbs, because you guys might be interested as well. I was going to ask you in this kind of episode if you wanted me to do an actual let's build suburbs type thing. I've got a couple of houses, got five so far. Pretty cool. Uh, one of them I've already got out in a tutorial. The other ones are going to follow pretty much in sequence, actually, to be honest. Uh, they start to get kind of quite big. This one's a big, chunky one. This one's kind of pretty chunky. They're mainly based off American houses, just because American houses look better. Uh, but this one's pretty big. It really is. Yeah, it is pretty big. I think it's got three floors. Yeah, it's got three floors. So it, this one is really huge, actually. Uh, I don't know when I'll get around to an interior on that one, but I am trying to get an interior done on these. Um, that'll be quite cool. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of these little houses. Going to build stuff that kind of fits with them. There's the road that I was kind of showing. And we are going to be completely up that way, all the way, well, actually south doesn't feel like we're going south, it feels like we're going north, but for some reason it's south. So it, the airport's going to be all the way down there, away from these kind of little places. But um, yeah, tell me if you guys want natural suburbs thing. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually jump onto my server. Because some people have made some really cool little airports. Okay, so I just came across this plot on my server and it looks incredible. So I'm just kind of flying around because I knew there's a couple kind of airports. But this one is just superb. So this is made by 17 Lego Maniac. And also helpers are Vincenti Grati Wesbury Family and Caleb Isaac 98. Now Caleb Isaac is actually banned because he was calling everyone, well, bad words. <laughs> like a lot. 
so he has actually been banned, so he probably didn't build it, but he's still being credited because it's here. Now this one is a really nice little airport, especially for the sizes, like 101 by 101 uh, plots. I am planning on making mine about 800, maybe long, maybe, maybe a thousand, I don't really know. Uh, we've got nice little planes, they're all kind of docked in these little areas here. I really like these markings as well, they're really cool. Um, got some vehicles. I'm going to make loads of little vehicles. I really like that one actually, that's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, so there's a nice little vehicles. I need to make a set of vehicles as well. Uh, you got the control tower here, you got the actual terminal as well. Pretty ace. Uh, they actually look pretty good with the new computer monitors as well, so I'm quite glad I used those. Uh, Oh, see? Clever. Already clever stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty good. But it's like got a crash scene, so you got like a fire fire truck. Um, oh dear, what has happened to this plane? So we've got like the front, well, they survived. They definitely survived. Uh, probably. Uh, the back, maybe. Uh, the top's come off, and the, the, that bit's gone. I like how there's also another, another small little aircraft right next to it. And one here, which has just about missed it. But it's a really, really nice plot. Really nice. So this has got some ideas. You can see the actual taxiways. You can see the main runway here. Well, actually, I would probably say that this one is. This 45 degree one is probably the main runway. It's biggest. And they've got the taxiways joining it all together, which goes to these. Really, really cool. Uh, so, well done, dude. Okay, so after looking at the kind of plots that run the, uh, the server as well, I actually found Ramona Airport on Google Earth. Now Google Earth is free if you guys want to download this. It's a really useful tool if you want to get like, if you just want to get anything and just have a look around to be honest. Uh, so it kind of comes with all the terrain. It's basically like Google Maps but just better. You know, you got the terrain and, and stuff. And if you have 3D buildings and like going to New York and things like that, they'll actually pop up uh, as long as you have the 3D buildings down here ticked. But one other really useful thing about it is quite simply this here, the ruler. So you can actually go all right, well, how big is this? So Ramona Airport is actually one and a half kilometers long. Well, I don't think I'm going to be doing it that long, but this will give you a sense of scale. So you can actually scale this. You could go like, well, it's 100, it's like one and a half kilometers long. And if you guys are kind of doing it by feet, you can do it in feet instead. It's kind of up to you, or you could do it in kilometers. Whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, so it's about that long. You go, well, how wide is it? It's about 47 meters wide. Sounds about right. So you can get a sense of scale from that and, and you know how big between these lines, well that's about three blocks or three meters and about 29 there to that line, you know all of this stuff is stupidly useful uh, and I actually use it a lot of the time actually just for, for general stuff in the city uh, and just having a look at cities. So yeah we've got those kind of things, that's really cool. Uh, you can actually see the size of the planes as well, I think these are like World War II planes, are they World War II planes? They're about the size of them, maybe. I don't really know, but <laughs> you know, so you can have a look at that. Now if we go into, here we go, MC Edit, so I'm just going to MC Edit, um, another tool that I use loads. I'm just going to have a look. Now this one was supposed to be one, 1 1.5 kilometers, wasn't it? Well, in MC Edit, what you can do is if I drag, uh, if I just find at the end of the airport, probably just before the bushes, Probably go like this. Uh, it was only about 47 blocks long, wide. There we go. Now this is already pretty big. If we go down to 1.5 kilometers, I got 600. You can already see this is huge. Now building one to one is too big usually. There we go. As you can see, I'm only halfway. So if I just do a kilometer, <laughs> let's just do a kilometer. Just have a look at what that looks like, and we're already off anyway. There we go, one kilometre, and it was about 47, wasn't it? Now well, let's do it around there. If we have a look at chunk view, now you can actually see what that looks like. Now that is ridiculous. So, we're not going to make it anywhere near that big. I was planning on going for 800, I think that's going to be too big as well. I mean, you can see the size of these houses compared to the runway. Yes, it's realistic if we do it this way, but also... Um, well, the water is only there. That's pretty much using up this whole place here. And if I grab up uh, the map quickly, there we go. So if I grab up the map, that's this entire bit here. One single small airport. Way too big. 
I think I'm going to half the size of it. I'll still probably keep the width though. Maybe. I don't really know. I don't want it this big as the road. And I, I do want to move it. I want to move it over quite a bit as well. But this will give you a sense of scale so you can actually scale the rest of the build. As you can see, that one kilometre, that's just one kilometre. That's also got another half of that added onto it to actually get it the same size as a real. Where is it? There we go. Uh, there. A real pretty small airport. So, um. That's one thing that you have to bear in mind. Airports are huge. Huge, huge. So we're going to half that. We're actually going to go back in. There it is. Um, I do like uh, how MC Edit makes it look like this weird ghost disc glow. Um, we're going to go into here. And we're going to have a look here. And we're going to have a look at what looks natural from the sky for it. It might even be 400 meters. I think probably like four, 350. 351, maybe like that. I think that's maybe a bit longer, I think. Probably a bit longer, yeah. Let's make it a little bit longer if I fly down. If it takes this long to fly down, then <laughs> you know it's going to take quite a while and a way. But what we'll do is I'm just going to grab this and... Oh, there we go, 400-odd. 450, I think. Go for 450, and I'm just going to extend this to about 40... Seven, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to bring up this. I'm actually going to bring the whole thing up and then turn it into something so that I can delete it quite easily. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I'll grab the. How do I grab the whole thing? I think I have to do it this way actually. If, for example, we had it like this. So this is this I can just then MC edit out as well. And if I just do, for example, fill with. Uh, Probably cobblestone actually is going to work the best, uh, especially with my texture pack. So let's fill that. So how many blocks is that? That is there we go, twenty-one thousand blocks. That's quite a lot. But since it only took a second, now I'll just save this. And now I'm just going to plunk down a reference plane. So if I just grab, and I've got all mine in schematics. So here we go. Probably bombardier as well. Yeah, that's probably going to be one that's going to be on there. That fits. That's the first thing we need to know, that it fits width-wise. Uh, Fairchild, probably going to have one of those. Yep, that fits. And what else have we got? Fokker, this is the one that I want. Actually, no, that's quite small. So yeah, that fits on that. That's pretty good. Now, I am going to just kind of go in onto this world. I might actually just import that as well. Because currently, there's, like, the view distance-wise is going to be so far. If I just move my player over to here, and over to here, and do save. And then quit. So if I just go into Minecraft now, and I've got to New Decker City, we should be moved over here. So here we go. Here's the edge. Now that's a pretty big one. Now you can already see from, from MC Edit to this, you already go like, what the hell? But actually, that seems pretty good. The size of the runway. Now, if I keep on going down it, already this feels like a pretty big place, but I think size wise, that's pretty good as the main runway. Now, what I can do is I can actually base size wise uh, kind of everything off this. I think that, you know, yeah, that works. I can fit one of these on pretty easily and pretty happily. Um, so, there we go. If we get in the side, the side, no, maybe not. And that's pretty long as well. So that'll go down there for quite a while, but I think size-wise that works. So if I just go back out, I'm just going to have a look again. Oh, and I need to find MC Edit. There you go. There's MC Edit. Find that again, and I'll just load up New Decker City. Okay, so here we are again on MC Edit. So that kind of gives me a good sense of scale. Um, even this might be... is actually way bigger than we need, but <laughs> way bigger than we need is better than way less than we need. Now obviously I'll pretty much just delete this now. Um, but I will quickly just grab the dimensions because I think that's a good starting point and if you guys are actually just laying out for example the runway that means you can get started especially if you're on the console versions. 21,000 blocks is not something fun but what I've got and I always go with I never go with even numbers so I'm gonna go you know 47 wide I think that's pretty good we can do a big white line or something around it um, we can even, you know, you can even plan that out now. If you if you guys have seen Jag's episode of um, when he's talking about airports, 
It's got some really, really thick lines. We could go for some double ones here or double ones here. I think that kind of works. I might actually do that. I have two there and then, then have my double lines. Probably won't go with triple lines because of... Because this is only going to be a small airport. But we also have this. I'm going to go with 451. So I'm going to go with 451 blocks long. But that's pretty much it for the first episode. I know I haven't actually built anything, but hopefully I've given you guys ideas and also scaling ideas. You can see that this is actually less than one third the size of a real airport. <laughs> of a real small airport as well. I mean, if we had a look at something, I don't know, like, uh, oh good god, what's going on here? LAX, is it called? Airport? I think. I don't even know how big this is. But this is going to be funny, basically. This will be funny. There we go. Los Angeles. I mean, this looks this looks crazy anyway. Oh, and this is what I was saying about the 3D buildings. And actually 3D planes, apparently. Uh, ugh. Well, maybe when it loads up, it'll be better. Or <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> it's like the height map meets it. So if we have a look at the main runway from here, and this is really difficult to see because of all the slipways. Uh, if we have a look, for example, let's go from this runway, I think this is a runway here, and all the way up to yeah, 3,000 meters. Yeah, so 3 kilometers, that's huge. You're never going to make something that size, and it it just won't look good. Don't do that in Minecraft, don't make it that big. Uh, 3,000, yeah, that's even longer. So hopefully that gives guys, gives you guys an idea have a look at real ones, have a look at whatever airport I'd looked at earlier, maybe. Can't remember, I'll have to watch back the video to find out where it was. But you know, have a look. It doesn't have to be in the United States. Uh, I don't know why I've been doing it in the United States. Uh, what I might do as well is my actual local airport is Nuki Airport and it is tiny. There we go. Grab that one. So I might as well show you guys this one as well so we can get some scaling from this. And this is my. This is, this is where it's just embarrassing. So this is a completely different style as well. It looks like crap, but this is even. You know. Like two. Yeah, this is even like two, two and a half. And this is a tiny airport. I mean, planes hardly can even take off here. They pretty much just hit into the hills most of the time. But, you know, hopefully that gives you some guys some ideas. You know, go for your different shapes as well. Plan it out. This is really important. Um. I already have an idea of how things are going to sit together. This building is going to be different, this is going to be different, this is going to be different, all of this is going to be different, but it's going to be a planning idea, and I can even go grab all of these objects. You can see it's got like 1,500. I can then scale this, or can I group this? How do I scale this? 800. 5. 450. Can I get it to 450? I can. I can prove something really cool, especially with like graphics like this. And I'm using uh, Adobe Fireworks, so... There we go. So that's then just scaled this down to this size. So now that runway is supposed to be 30 blocks, but it doesn't really matter. And we also have this, so it'd be like 100 this way, 100 this way, and about 450 that way. Seems about right, but that means I can basically roughly plan my one. So I can be like, well, how many blocks are going to be? About 70? And I can draw again, I can draw out a box, have a look at it in... Uh, kind of like actually in Minecraft and then decide to build something there. So next episode we are going to be building a terminal. I think what I'm going to do now is just basically map out an area. Probably put in the rough runway. I don't think you guys need to see that, but I will go through um, how I built it at least. I'll you know I'll say like you know it'll probably be exactly those dimensions, 47 wide and 451 long. But uh, where I put in the lines and the markings and things like that, I might might try out that. As well as getting, uh, like, whatever the hell it is, there we go. Like these curvy bits. I'm going to figure out those curvy bits. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you uh, like this very strange episode and very strange first episode. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.